Welcome back, everyone. Looking at temperatures this morning. Boy, it's, it's a chilly start to the day. We're sitting at 22 degrees currently in Lima as well as Columbus. Look at Cleveland this morning, sitting at 18 degrees, 20 in Detroit, 16 in Grand Rapids. We see temperatures a little warmer down to the south, but don't worry. We're going to warm things up nicely as we go into the upcoming weekend. The warming trend that we've been talking about, everything's still on track for that. As we take a look at the satellite and radar this morning, the reason why we're cold is, of course, the wind flow. We talked a lot about this yesterday, how the wind coming out of the north kept us cooler during the day on Thursday. And so far this morning, we have Canadian high pressure with those winds mainly out of the east or the northeast direction. That front down to the south will start to get a lift back to the north. There's an area of low pressure that's going to start to build way out here to the west here in the lee of the Rockies. We'll watch a low pressure system form tonight into tomorrow, and that is going to force all that warm air to come right to the north here. So don't worry. The warming trend will work into the areas. We take a look at temperatures today. Again, that contrast continues from the cold weather across the northern tier of states here. Our area getting back to the 40s today, so that's back to where we should be. Overall, pretty nice day expected across the area as we head into the afternoon. But look at that warm air to the south. I mean, we've got 75 in Oklahoma City, 77 today in Memphis, and that warm air, it is poised to head north as we head into the weekend. Check out your temperature trend. This is pretty interesting here, how we go from 22 this morning, 45 this afternoon, but not as cold tonight into early tomorrow. And then we skyrocket to 71 degrees with the sunshine and a south wind. That will do the job here tomorrow. And even on Sunday, although we're not quite as warm, we see temperatures still in the 60s Sunday morning, but then down to the 50s by Sunday afternoon. So temperature Sunday, warmest in the morning as a cold front will start to work its way into the area. So as we look at our sky cast, again, looking good today. We've got the sunshine around and not a lot of wind either. The wind's only coming in about three to six miles per hour. So just a really quiet weather day expected. We'll see a little more cloud cover though late today. This is evidence of a warm front lifting through. I think we'll stay dry. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, we'll get back to some partly sunny skies. And again, look at your temperature. It's just verifying that temperature should be around 70 to 72 degrees by 4 p.m. The one caveat to tomorrow, the one complaint perhaps in the forecast is it's going to get a little breezy by the afternoon. We could see wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour from that southerly direction. And we'll stay breezy into Sunday as well. But notice after midnight tomorrow night, we start to break out into some scattered showers. But mostly before sunrise on Sunday. Could see a couple showers here at 8 o'clock Sunday morning. But then that zips away and we'll get back to some sunshine Sunday afternoon. Again, it will be breezy and temperatures just a little bit cooler as that cold front does start to move through. We'll get a secondary wave of low pressure to come into the area late Sunday night. This will give us a pretty good amount of rainfall late Sunday night and it looks like a very wet day on Monday as the system continues to move through. But notice to the north, we've got snow across Michigan and it looks like by Monday night, the tail end of this will end in some light snow showers could get a light accumulation, but right now it looks like most of that will stay just north of our viewing area. We'll uh, continue to fine tune that, so stay tuned over the weekend. But as far as rainfall, we could see a pretty decent amount here, especially that Sunday night to Monday period, one to two inches of rain with higher totals to our south. We'll see temperatures slide from the 70s tomorrow, 60s Sunday, and then we're back to more seasonable temperatures next week. We'll dry back out, though, by Tuesday and Wednesday. There's just a feeling of spring on the way, isn't Got there? Got that itch, don't we? That yeah, spring itch. Yep. We do. All right. Thank you, Nathan. Now